set up the game of Uno, first set up the game. To do this, first establish a dealer. After the dealer has been chosen, they will shuffle the deck of cards and deal each player in the game seven cards. Each player may look at their hand of cards and rearrange them as necessary, but should keep them secret from all other players in the game. The remaining deck will be placed face down in the middle of the playing area to form the draw pile. The dealer will then flip the top card of the draw pile face up next to the deck. This will become the discard pile. After setting up the game, players are ready to begin playing. The game of Uno is a classic card game that can play from 2 to 10 players, making it a versatile game for different groups. There are several variations to the rules of Uno, so keep that in mind while watching this video. The object of the game of Uno is to be the first player to run out of all of your hand cards. To start the game of Uno, the player to the left of the dealer will take the first turn, and play will continue to the left. Before the start player officially starts their turn, they must check the card on top of the discard pile. If a skip card is face up at the beginning of the game, the start player will be skipped, and the player to their left will take the first turn. Some versions of the game of Uno will have skip cards that are represented by only a symbol, and others will have words to indicate a skip card. If a reverse card is face up at the beginning of the game, the play order will reverse. The dealer, instead of the player to their left, will take the first turn. Instead of moving to the left, play will continue in the opposite direction to the right. Some versions of the game of Uno will represent reverse cards with arrows. If a draw two card is face up at the beginning of the game, the start player must draw two cards from the top of the draw deck in the middle. That player will also miss their turn, and the next player will take the first turn. If a wild card is face up, the start player will choose blue, green, red, or yellow. This will be the color of the card that must be played. The start player will then play their card as normal. If a draw four wild card is face up at the beginning of the game, the card will be shuffled back into the deck, and a new card will be flipped over to the top of the discard pile. If the card on top of the discard pile at the beginning of the game is simply a number card from 0 to 9 in one of the four colors, the start player will simply take their turn. On a player's turn, they will look at their hand of cards. The player will then have the choice to either play one card from their hand or to skip playing a card. Let's look at both of those options. To play a card, the player must match some feature of the card on the top of the discard pile to a card from their hand, or play a wild card to change the color. There are three basic ways to match the top card of the discard pile. The first option is to match the color of the card. For example, playing a blue card on top of a blue card on the discard pile, or a yellow card on top of a yellow card. The second option is to match the number of the card on the top of the discard pile. For example, playing this red 7 on top of this yellow 7, or this blue 5 on top of this red 5. The third option a player has is to match the symbol of the card. For example, playing this skip card with an S symbol on top of this skip card, or this draw 2 card with the D symbol over another draw 2. If a player plays a skip card during their turn, the next player's turn will be skipped. Skip cards may only be played if they match the color of the previously played card, or if they are played on top of another skip card. If a player plays a reverse card, the play order will be reversed. So if the player to the left would normally go next, if a reverse card is played, the player to the right will go next. Just like with a skip card, you must match the color or play a reverse card on top of another reverse card to be allowed to play one. If a draw two card is played, the next player will have to draw two cards from the top of the deck. The player who was forced to draw two cards would also miss their turn. Once again, a draw two card may only be played on top of a matching color or on top of a previously played draw two card. 
If you do not have a card that matches any of the features of the card on top of the discard pile, there is another option that players have. They may play a wild card and change the color of the top card of the discard pile. There are two types of wild cards in the game. The first type of wild card in the game is the basic wild card. If a player plays this card, they will simply choose one color. This will change the color that the next player in the game must play. So if this player didn't have any red cards, they could play their wild card and change the color to blue. Now, the next player must play a blue card or a wild. It should be noted that a player is allowed to use a wild card to maintain the same color that is currently in play. It should also be noted that a player is allowed to play a basic wild card from their hand even if they have a color, number, or symbol card in their hand that matches the top card of the discard pile. So this player could play their wild card to change the color to blue, even though they have a red card in their hand that they are legally able to play. The other type of wild card in the game is the draw four wild. If a player plays this card, they must choose any one of the four colors to change the color to. Just like with the basic wild cards, they may also choose to play this card and keep the color the same. The next player to go must draw four cards from the top of the deck and add them to their hand. That player will also lose their turn after drawing their four cards. In order to be legally allowed to play a draw four wild, you must not have any cards in your hand that match the color of the top card of the discard pile. For example, if this player had this hand of cards, they could not legally play their draw four wild because they have a red card that they would be able to play on top of the red card on the discard pile. This player, on the other hand, could play their draw four wild card even though they have a red four in their hand that they could play on top of the yellow four. They are only not legally able to play a draw four wild card if they have a matching color card that they could play. Just as with most rules, a player is allowed to break the rules and play a draw four wild card even if it is not legally acceptable to play it. The player who had the draw four wild card played on them is able to challenge the legality of the draw four wild card. Only the player who will be affected by the draw four wild card is allowed to challenge the card. If a draw four wild card is challenged, the player who played it must show their hand of cards to the player who challenged them to prove that they do not have any cards of the color that they could have legally played. If they do have a card that would have been able to be played, they would be penalized and would have to draw the four cards themselves. For example, if this player was challenged for playing their draw four wild card, this player would have had to have played a yellow card. It turns out that they did have a yellow card in their hand that they should have played. So they had played their draw four wild card illegally and had been caught doing so. The other player won the challenge, so they would be spared from drawing the four cards into their hand. They would still have their turn skipped, and the player who played the draw four wild card would still be allowed to name the new color. On the other hand, if a player challenges the draw four card that was played on them, and were shown the player's hand to confirm that it was played legally, the player who challenged would be penalized. The player who challenged the draw four wild card and lost the challenge would have to draw two additional cards on top of the draw four penalty. During a player's turn, if they are unable to match one of their hand cards to the color, number, or symbol on the previously played card, they will skip playing their one card. As a consequence, that player must draw one card from the deck. If the card they drew would be able to be legally played, they may immediately play the card that they just drew. If the card they drew cannot be legally played, the player must add that card to their hand. It should be noted that you may choose to skip playing a card for strategic purposes, even if you have a card that you can legally play. If the draw deck runs out of cards at any time during the game, simply return the top card of the discard pile to the discard pile area, so it can be used by the next player to determine what they must play. The remaining cards in the deck will be shuffled and a new draw pile will be created. After a player either plays a card or draws a card, their turn will be over and the next player will take their turn. 
While playing cards, players must always be aware of the amount of cards that they, and all other players in the game, hold in their hand. The reason that this is important is because any time a player in the game is down to just one card in their hand, the player must say uno before they officially end their turn, to be safe from being called out by another player. A player's turn ends when they remove their hand from the card after discarding it. If the player forgets to say uno, any other player in the game may call out uno, and the player who forgot to say uno must then draw two cards. Other players only have until the next player starts their turn by either playing a card or drawing a card to call a player out for not saying uno on their turn. If you forget to say uno and all other players in the game forget to call you out on it, you can be spared from the penalty. It should be noted that because the number of cards a player has remaining in their hand is important in the game, players are not allowed to hide their hand of cards from players in the game. A round of Uno ends when a player runs out of cards by playing the last card in their hand onto the discard pile. If players are playing multiple games of Uno and they would like to keep score to determine a winner, they can use the following scoring. The player who won the round by playing all of their hand cards will score for the round. All other players will receive zero points. The winning player will score points by collecting the remaining hand cards of all of the other players in the game and then scoring them. They will score 0 to 9 points for each card with a number on it. They will score the exact number shown on the card. So a 9 would score them 9 points, a 3 would score them 3 points, and a 0 would score them 0 points. Each skip, draw 2, and reverse card they have will score them 20 points. And each wild and draw 4 wild will score them 50 points. So if this player won, and these were the cards remaining in their opponent's hands, they would score 104 points. If players decide to play by keeping score, the first player to reach or exceed 500 points will be declared the winner.